Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. Now this is something I don't use. This is all about capos or capos. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but this is a capo or a capo. This is granted a guitar one, which is going to look daft on the ukulele, but I genuinely don't use capos. So I've had to borrow someone's over and else because I don't use them. Basically, this is how they work. We're going to pretend we're in the key of C and it's the chord C, A minor, F, and G7. C, A minor, F, and G7. So you know a song using them chords and you know it very well. Someone comes along to you and says, ah yes, but I sing that in C sharp. Now the general rule of thumb is, you follow the singer. If the singer can only sing it in C sharp, you have to play it in C sharp. Because the singer will be carrying the majority of the melody and that has to sound nice. So this is what you do. This is a very basic guide. There's a bit more to it, but this gets you going. You add the capo to the first fret there. Now it should sit just in line with the fret there like that. And that now acts as that nut. So this is that. So you obey the same rule and you leave a gap of two and put your C chord there. Using the same chords, you've just played it in C sharp by adding this to the first fret. Now, if somebody says to you, I sing it in D, you add it to the second fret like this. Second fret, same again, C chord. Granted, this is awkward on a ukulele because there's not as much room as a guitar. So you're doing that in D. But if someone says to you, well, actually, I sing it in E, which would be a hard key to play on the ukulele, you add it to the fourth and just obey the rules again. So that's how you use a capo or capo, whichever way it's pronounced. And that's basically it. Basically, it just sits on your fretboard and you move it up to suit your voice. Now, you might say, what key do I sing in? Well, you don't sing in one key, you'll sing in a range. And each song will be slightly different. You won't sing every song in the key of C. So this is what you can do. We'll pretend we're in the key of C as it's the easiest on the uke. If C feels wrong, just add the capo to the first fret and just try strumming and singing in that tone. If that doesn't feel right, move it up one step and repeat. doesn't feel right, move it up again until you get until you get the tone that suits your voice. Now in the key of C it's very easy to work out because whatever note is pressed here on the bottom string where your C chord would be, that would be the key you're in using this method. Granted if you used other chords that would change and that's how you use a capo. Now it has got another use which we'll come on to in a minute. So basically you use it one increment at a time going up one fret until you find the tone that suits your voice. Now we're going to put it back on and we're going to use the key of A. We're going to use the key of A. We're going to be using the chords A, E7, D7, back to A. So we'll do a bar of each. So we'll do a bar of A, bar of E7, bar of D7, bar of A. And it doesn't feel right. It, you can't sing in that. So all you do is add it to the first fret, 
and do it again. Doesn't feel right, you move it up again until you get the key you find best suits your voice. The only rule to this is the capo, I'll put it on again, must sit as close to the fret as it can. Can you see that? So the strings ring clearly. If they ring like this, see how it's badly? Hear that bottom string? See it's on the fret. And that's how you use a capo. There is one other use for a capo which is rather good. If you're in a band, a ukulele band, guitar band, it makes no difference. But if there's two of you playing the same instrument, say a ukulele for the sake of argument, you really both shouldn't be playing the chord pattern the same way. So if there's no, if another ukulele player, you should be playing C somewhere else, like here or here. And that's the ukulele's idea. But let's just say we're in the key of D. So another ukulele player is playing here D, A, G, D. They're playing D, A, G, D. What you can do is you can add your capo to the second fret and play these chord shapes C G7 F C shape this is C shape G7 shape F shape C shape what you're doing there is you're playing in D using the C chord shapes they'll be playing in D in the normal D and it will fill the sound out rather than you both being in the same bracket, and that's another use for the capo. So I'll go for that again very quickly. If you've got another ukulele player and he's playing in D. D. A. G. D. Well, you can add the capo. And we're using C shapes here. I'll say C shape, it's not the chord of C, it's now a chord of D, but C shape. G7 shape. F shape. C shape. Now you can do this with lot, you can use this all over the fretboard. You could have another person using another set of chords and the capo somewhere else and have three people playing the same chord progression but in different octaves and it does fill the sound out nice and wide. Sometimes if you're all playing in one it sounds thin, when you play together in different octaves it sounds wide and more full. I hope that video has been useful to you. This is a beginner's guide to using a capo on the ukulele. Like I say I personally don't use them, I use bar chords and chord shapes as well. I don't really tend to use capos mainly because it's got a spring in it and I know when I'm on stage that spring will break and I'll have to learn, learn to do it another way but if you're learning it's perfectly fine at home to practice but mainly use it for your voice you know your chords just move the capo one little increment at a time until you find the one that best suits your voice I hope this video has been useful to you until next time, take care. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School. If you wish to learn more on any instrument, follow the link down below. We do face-to-face -face lessons, internet lessons, Skype lessons, Zoom lessons, all other types of lessons. Even visit you in your home if you're in the Blackpool area. So until next time, take care, keep practicing and goodbye.